Hello guys, my name is Johnny S K S A P Five Co and Swar Hana Finance Trainer. Today I would like to share you very very important topic. The topic about what is rollout project in S A P. So generally we have different types of projects in S A P. One is implementation project and support project, rollout project, mergers and acquisitions, conversion projects, upgrade projects. So these are all projects in S A P. So uh, today we will gonna discuss about what is the rollout project. And if you are not subscribe my channel or you are watching my video first time so please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon so that you will get many notifications from my side okay let's understand what is rollout project once the implementation has been done uh, for the main company code uh, let's say your company code is located in uh, us it is your main company code okay now after some days the company wants to extend the business into different geographical and region wise uh, then we can prefer the rollout project that means let's say a company has four branches in uh, uh, different locations like india china malaysia singapore now the legal and local requirement of these countries are completely different that statutory regulations and uh, the requirement is also completely different in india so let's say if you comparing to the us and india the taxation requirement is not same and accounting principles are not same accounting standards are not same so we need to prepare financial statements so according to the indian requirement what generally gap says indian gap says and what generally accounting principles says and what generally accounting standards says what taxation um, regulation says so these are all things these are all requirement uh, we need to be gather first for that whatever the things in uh, us company what are the configuration things done in us us company the same configuration steps if it is applicable for the indian company code then we need to copy all that settings to indian company code and after that any difference is there and with respect of uh, legal requirements then we need to prepare one gap analysis document where all complete details we need to put so what is the gap between the um, that main company code and for the indian company code so that gap analysis um, report that means it is, there is a, every company has its own st standard templates so in that standard templates so what are the same requirement we need to be given this place and what is the difference is there that we need to prepare in a separate uh, uh, separate uh, separate in document that is called as a, a gap document okay and finally as we have done in implementation configuration etc the same thing we need to perform in the uh, rollout project and also we need to do some testing so here the difference between the rollout project and implementation is just like implementation is already exist so um, then rollout project is just like uh, so uh, it just like already existed one to copying the same settings okay if any difference is there that we need to identify and we need to prepare gap analysis document and standard documents standard reports okay so differences we need to be gather so finally we need to uh, do configuration testing and we need to forward the same settings to production okay so this is about rollout project like whatever the settings you have copied and uh, you have created uh, in different uh, master data if it is required or taxation requirements so um, the tax procedures etc etc the same thing you will have to uh, copy not copy because the the, the, sta the statutory regulations is completely different the taxation requirement is completely different so we cannot copy the same setting from the main company code so the same way you can um, you can copy the same setting for the singapore company malaysia company and uh, so any other company code and whatever the same configurations are there then you can copy from the same system and uh, any differences are there the further you need to prepare gap analysis and you will have to do some configuration testings if it is required master data related up migration part also we need to perform in real time so so whatever the master data is same that we can take out it is any difference is there any new requirement relating to master data then you can upload um, through lsmw or any other uh, bdc program okay so i hope you understand this concept thank you so much for your support this is chanius k signing off